Good morning students. Today in this video we will see and understand what are verbs. So verbs are the action words in a sentence that describe what the subject is doing. The verb is king in English. King means the verb is very crucial in English. It plays very important role in English. Even the shortest sentence contains a verb. Along with nouns, verbs are the main part of a sentence or phrase. Telling a story about what is taking place. In fact, without a verb, full thoughts cannot be properly conveyed. And even the simplest sentence such as Sita sings. Have one. It has the verb that is sings. Actually, a verb can be a sentence by itself. With the subject, in most case, you implied such as sing and drive. When learning the rules of grammar, children are often taught that verbs are doing words. Means, verbs signify the part of the sentence which explains the action taking place. Like, he ran away. Ram goes to school every day. She eats chocolate cakes on her birthday. So, here in these sentences, ran, eats, goes are the action parts of the sentences. Thus, they are the verbs. However, it can be confusing because not all verbs are easily identifiable as action. Like, the flower looks beautiful. I know your name. I am a doctor. Rahul thought about it. I love my country. I have two pens. I like English. We consider the matter. You can notice in these sentences, looks, know, am, thought, love, have, like, considered. They are not action words. So, these are non-action verbs. That is, uh, this, that describe a state of being, emotion, possession, sense or opinion. Other non-action verbs include love, agree, feel, am and have. So, what are verbs? Verbs are doing words which can express physical action like play, write, dive, mental action like think, guess, consider. Or state of being. Example, exist, am, are. Okay. So, it means Yaniki, they are not only just action words. They are mental action or state of being also. Now, let's see a little more about verb. A physical action. To swim, to walk, to write. The doctor wrote the prescription. Here the word wrote is an action word. Okay. Rahul bought a ticket. Bought is action word in the sentence. Number two, mental action. She considers the job done. Considers is a mental action in the sentence. A mental action word in the sentence. Peter gets the right number. So, guessed, here it is expressing mental action. Okay, and I thought the same thing. Thought is expressing, again, the mental action. It is not expressing an action, simply physical action. A state of being, to be, to exist, to appear, like I am a doctor. Does life exist on Mars? One by one the stars appear in the sky. So, M, that is to be formed. Of the verb is mr was were so m m is also a state of being okay does life exist exist and appear they are also a state of being they are not a physical action now a small uh, a small but extremely important group of uh, verbs don't express any activity at all and the most important verbs in this group is of uh, all is uh, the verb to be. 
here is the list of the verb to be in the different tenses understand the most important verb in this group is verb to be subject i in present tense it is am then past tense was and future tense will be he she it present tense is past tense was and future tense will be we present tense are past tense were and future tense will be and present you present tense are past tense were and future tense will be they present tense are past tense were and future tense will be so you can see the to be form in different tenses now real examples with verb to be rakhi is the largest elephant in this area so here the word is is a verb form okay it is from the verb to be understand the word is is a verb form understand it was a joke the word was is was which one word it was a joke the word was is a verb from the verb to be i am the word am is a verb from the verb to be keep the thing in mind that i am is the shortest sentence in english i am is the shortest sentence in english then you are a good student are is a verb form okay then he she is an honest person so here is a verb from the verb to be and then last we are are is a verb from the verb to be now the types of verb number 1 action verb an action verb expresses an activity that a person or thing can do for example sita eats cakes eating is something sita can do the bear chased the salmon in the shallow rapids chasing is something the bear can do so here eats in red and chase eats and chased in red color are action verb as they express or show an activity is being done now the stative verb stative verb expresses a state rather than an action a stative verb typically relates to a state of being a thought or an emotion as i am at home verb to be am is not an activity is not an action it's a state okay she believes in ghosts verb believes is not an activity it's an opinion sita likes cake to like is not an activity it's not an action it's a state the bear is hungry verb to be is not an activity it's a state he feels elated verb feels not an activity it's an emotion hence am believes likes is are stative verbs as they express a state of being a thought or an emotion now the next is transitive verb a transitive verb is one that acts on something that is it has a direct object in sentence i saw the dog here the direct object is dog in sita ate the pie the direct object is the pie the postman will give me the letter the letter is direct object students please take a note here 
the direct object of a transitive verb can be found by finding the verb and asking the question what for example in sentence i saw the dog what i saw the answer is the dog so this way you can find the direct object of a transitive verb so is in sentence sita ate the pie what sita ate the answer is the pie the pie is the direct object of the verb ate now the next is intransitive verb an intransitive verb is one that does not take a direct object in other words it is not done to someone or something it just involves the subject intransitive verb is an action action verb expressing a doable activity like uh, arrive go lie lie l i e lie sneeze sit die etc so all these are doable activity they are called doable activity what are doable activity arrive go lie sneeze sit die d i e die etc okay and unlike a transitive verb it doesn't have a direct object it means in transitive verb does not have a direct object receiving the action like in the sentence they will arrive very soon verb arrive is in transitive because this action doesn't have any object there is only a subject and that is they now the next is auxiliary verb an auxiliary verb is a verb that adds functional or grammatical meaning to the clause in which it appears so as to express tense aspect voice emphasis etc auxiliary verbs usually accompany a main verb the principal auxiliary verbs are be do and have here in sentences in these sentences first the auxiliary verb has in sita has eaten all the pies look at this sita has eaten all the pies verb has is expressing tense in second sentence the table has been prepared auxiliary verb has been helps to express voice that is passive voice in the sentence in third sentence auxiliary verb were and uh, sorry was and would are expressing mood understand next is modal verb modal verbs are special verbs that are used to express ability possibility permission or obligation can could may might must ought to shall should will and would are the modal auxiliary verbs in sentence first sita can eat a lot of pies can helps modal verb can helps to express the idea of ability that sita is able to eat a lot of pies in sentence second sita might eat that pie before he gets home modal verb might helps to express the idea of possibility in third sentence sita may eat as many pies as she likes modal verb may expresses permission may also express wish and in the last sentence the modal verb should sita should give you some of that pie this modal verb should should modal verb expresses the obligation or suggestion next is phrasal verb a phrasal verb is a verb like pick up turn on or get on with these verbs consists of a basic verb plus another word or words 
the two or three words that make up a phrasal verb form a short phrase that's why we call them phrasal verbs but a phrasal verb is still a verb like look is a verb look up is also a verb a different verb okay look up is a different verb look means to direct eyes in a certain direction while look up means to search for in find information in a reference book they don't have the same meaning and they behave differently in grammar or grammatically here in the sentence one a one phrasal verb break in you can notice in red break in means to enter illegally illegally which is quite different to the word break that is in bold letter that is in red letter I, i'm sorry just i'm repeating once again for you uh here in the sentence one phrasal verb break in that is in bold means to enter illegally which is quite different to the word break that is in red okay now in sentence second phrasal verb drop back means to fall behind which is also quite different to the word drop okay now next is regular and irregular verbs irregular verb is one that forms its simple past tense and its past participle by adding ed or d to the base form of the verb and there are spelling rules to consider them okay like love simple past loved and past participle has loved move simple past moved and part participle or verb third form has moved okay irregular verb irregular verb is one in which the past tense is not formed by adding the usual ed or d endings okay like in the table tell simple past told past participle has told bleed simple past bled you can see we haven't added any ed or d to them simply uh, that's why they are irregular verb bleed bled the has bled then sing simple past sang past participle has sung go simple past or verb second form went and third form or past participle has gone so uh, that's all about the verb i hope you must have understood it well there is so many things about the verb in next video we will be discussing about the primary auxiliary verbs thank you so much